Good morning everyone. Today we are going to do multiplication page number 85. Children, let's do word sums page number 85. Question 1. A packet of biscuits has 18 biscuits. How many biscuits are there in two packets? See children, there are two packets. And a packet has 18 biscuits. So here you have to find out the total number of biscuits in two packets. So, we will multiply 18 by 2. First, we multiply the 1's digit. That is 8. So, we multiply 8 by 2. So, 8 into 2 is equal to 16. Write 6 under 1's and 1 ten is carry. Now, we multiply the tens digit that is 1 by 2. So 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Add 1 carry. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So 36 biscuits will be your answer. Next question. Question 2. There are 9 rows of seats in a hall. Each row has 22 seats. How many seats are there in the hall? Children, here there are 9 rows of seats. And each row has 22 seats. So here you have to find out the total number of seats in the hall. So, we will multiply 22 by 9. First, we multiply the 1's digit that is 2 by 9. So, 2 into 9 is equal to 18. Write 8 under 1's. Carry 1. 10. Then, we multiply the 10's digit that is 2 by 9. So, 2 into 9 is equal to 18. Add 1 carry to the product that is 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. Write 9 carry 100. Now children, as you can see that there is no value at 100's place. So it means there is 0. So we will we'll multiply 100's digit by 9. That is 0 into 9. So 0 into 9 is equal to 0. And add 1 carry. So 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So write 1 under 100. So 198 seats will be your answer. Question 3. April, June, September and November have 30 days each. How many days do they have all together? Children, here 4 months are given and each month has 30 days. And here you have to find out the total number of days. So we will multiply 30 by 4. So, first we multiply the 1's digit that is 0 by 4. So, 0 into 4 is equal to 0. Any number multiplied by 0, you will get the product as 0. So, write 0 under 1's. Then we multiply the 10's digit by 4. That is 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So, write 2 under 10s and 100 is carry. Now, children, there is no value at 100's place. So, it means there is 0. So, we multiply the 100's digit by 4. That is 0 into 4 is equal to 0. Now, we add 1 carry to the product. That is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, write 1 under 100's place. 
So, 120 days will be your answer. Next question. Question 4. A hotel has 8 floors. On each floor, there are 32 rooms. How many rooms does the hotel have? See children, in this question, there are 8 floors. On each floor, there are 32 rooms. And here you have to find out the total number of rooms in 8 floors. So here we will multiply 32 by 8. So first we multiply the ones digit by 8. That is 2 into 8 is equal to 16. So write 6 under ones. Carry 110. Now we multiply the tens digit that is 3 by 8. 3 8s are 24. Add 1 carry. So 24 plus 1, 25. Write 500 tens and 200 are carry. Now we multiply. The hundreds digit that is 0. So 0 into 8 is equal to 0. We add 2 carry that is 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. So write 2 under hundreds. So 256 rooms will be your answer. Next question, question number 5. In a test, Andy answered 19 questions correctly. For each correct answer, he got 5 marks. What marks did he get in the test? See children, here. Number of correct answers are 19. And for each correct answer, he got 5 marks. So here you have to find out the total marks he got in the test. Okay, so you multiply 19 by 5. So first we multiply the ones digit by 5. That is 9 into 5 is equal to 45. So write 5 under 1's and 4 tens carry. Then we multiply the tens digit by 5. That is 1 into 5 is equal to 5. Add 4 carry to the product. That is 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Write 9 under so, 95 marks will be your answer. Next question. Question number 6. Zoya buys 6 packets of paper. Each packet has 150 sheets. How many sheets does she buy? Here children, Total number of packets are 6 and each packet has 150 sheets. So here you have to find out the total number of sheets in 6 packets. Okay, so we multiply 150 by 6. So first we multiply the 1's digit by 6 that is 0 into 6 is equal to 0 any number multiplied by 0 the product will be 0 so write 0 under ones then we multiply the tens digit that is 5 by 6 so 5 into 6 is equal to 30 so write 0 under tens 
and 300 scary. Now we multiply the hundreds digit by 6. That is 1 into 6 is equal to 6 and add 3 carry. So 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So write 9 under hundreds. So 900 sheets will be your answer. Next question, question number 7. Santosh has to learn spellings from three lists. Each list has 135 words. How many spellings does he have to learn altogether? Here children, number of lists are 3 and each list has 135 words. So you have to find out the total number of spellings in three lists. So here we multiply 135 by 3. So first we multiply the ones digit by 3 that is 5 into 3. So 5 into 3 is equal to 15. Write 5 under 1's and 1 10 carry. Then we multiply the 10's digit by 3. That is 3 into 3 is equal to 9. Add 1 carry to the product. That is 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So write 0 under 10's and 100 is carry. Now, we multiply the hundreds digit by 3, that is 1 into 3 is equal to 3, add 1 carry, so 3 plus 1 is 4, write 4 under hundreds. So children, 405 spellings will be your answer.